Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into the latest update from the world of Linux distributions. Elementary OS 8.0.2 If you are a fan of clean, user-friendly interfaces or just looking for a reliable alternative to mainstream operating system, this release brings some solid improvements focused on reliability, accessibility and everyday usability. I'll break it all down for you step by step based on the official announcements and community buzz. So let's get started. First off, for those new to elementary OS, it's a Linux distro built on Ubuntu, known for its elegant Pantheon desktop environment that emphasizes simplicity and a macOS-like aesthetic without the bloat. Version 8.0.2 is a minor update coming about six months after 8.0.1 and it's paving the way for the bigger 8.1 release which is expected before the end of the year this version packs in bug fixes performance tweaks and new features that make it more accessible and efficient especially for users with diverse hardware setups one of the standout areas of improvements is the installer and initial setup process. The team has put a lot of effort into accessibility here. Think better support for screen readers. Now, views like before installing, try or install, choose a disk, and encryption have a clearer labels that work seamlessly with assistive tools. Password strength feedback is even read aloud and they have squashed bugs where screen readers would awkwardly announce formatting markup. On the technical side, there are added safety checks to handle complex partition setups without crashing. And the installer window always pops up centered on your screen for a smoother experience. Initial setup mirrors these changes. Plus, it now allows usernames with trailing hyphens or underscores and pulls keyboard layout data from a more dependable sources. Shout out to contributors like Leo and Rio for these refinements. They are making installation less intimidating for beginners and pros alike. Moving on the music app, which has gotten a nice overhaul for better queue management. If you deal with large playlists, you'll notice performance boosts that keep things snappy. New options let you remove specific tracks right from the context menu or wipe the entire queue with a click. Searching by track name is now built in and the app remembers your queue and last played tracks across sessions. Super handy for picking up where you left off. Keyboard shortcuts have been added too like Ctrl plus O to import files and Ctrl plus Q to quit quickly. Album art now shows up in the panel's media controls, which is small but satisfying touch for visual folks. Fixes for long artist names and large fonts ensure it looks great on any setup. Thanks to folks like Owosh, Jeremy, Leonhard, Stella, and Rian for these updates. It's clear the community is driven real usability gains here. The terminal app hasn't been left out either. They fixed some annoying focus issues, like ensuring the keyboard lands in the first tab when you open a new window, dropping or pasting text with special characters such as hashtags no longer gets truncated, and line breaks behave properly even if a process is running in the background. They also ditched an old quirk that caused weird window sizing on certain displays. And process completion indicators clear up reliable when switching tabs. This might sound minor, but for the developers or anyone who lives in the command line, they add up to a more frustration-free experience. Hardware support gets a big boost with this release, incorporating the latest long-term support stack from Ubuntu, including the Linux 6.14 kernel. This means 
better performance in games thanks to optimizations like the new NT-Sync subsystem. Lower power draw on Select, AMD, and Intel chips and GPUs. Enhanced security features and broader compatibility with peripherals like gamepads, Wi-Fi adapters, and microphones. If you are running modern hardware, this could translate to smoother operation and longer battery life on laptops. There are plenty of other tweaks scattered throughout. For example, main menus in the camera and video apps are now keyboard accessible with the F10 shortcut. The calculator app swaps out the del which is TEL or delete text for a clearer icon and ensures actions like new window display properly in settings. Screenshots handle tall images without crashing and they save correctly to custom folders now. Contributors such as Alien, Trevor and Rio deserve credit for polishing these details. If you are ready to try it out, Elementary OS 8.0.2 is available now on their website. As I pay what you want to download, you can even grab it for free by entering zero. They offer direct downloads in various languages and a torrent option for faster access. System requirements are straightforward. A 64-bit dual-core processor, 4 GB of RAM, and at least 32 GB of storage. If you're already on version 8, updates should roll out through the App Center soon. Looking ahead, the team teases more exciting stuff in early access builds, with a blog post coming soon on features post 8.0.2. And remember, 8.1 is on the horizon, promising a comprehensive wrap-up of changes since the major 8.0 launch. Overall, Elementary OS 8.0.2 feels like a thoughtful refinement that prioritizes accessibility and stability without overwhelming users with massive overalls. It's a great choice if you want a distro that's beautiful out of the box and easy to use daily. If you tried it, drop your thoughts in the comments. What's your favorite change? Hit that like button if this helped. Subscribe for more Linux updates. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.